Waterborne diseases are caused by drinking contaminated water. The numbers are in the billions of cases every year. The number of deaths are in the hundreds of thousands. What motivates me to do research in waterborne diseases is the opportunity to actually travel to remote villages and to see people who really did not have access to safe water and suffered a variety of infectious diseases. Through my studies on cholera, I've actually been able to help many, many people. To provide them with safe water would be one of the most wonderful satisfactions that any one person could have. Rita Caldwell has been studying Vibrios for many years, almost for 50 years. She is the pioneering scientist to establish, to prove Vibrios are marine organisms, naturally occurring organisms, especially Vibrio cholerae. Now that she established the organism live in the environment, the most important thing was they could not be cultured all the time. That's why this viable but non culturable phenomenon was established, that these organisms using conventional method, they cannot be cultured and finally developed a method which, by which these organisms can be found. Why these viable but non culturable organisms are so important? Because they cannot be detected. However, they can produce disease. Right now I'm working on cholera and related bacteria associated with waterborne disease in humans. The work involves study of the distribution of these microorganisms in the environment, but also their effect in humans, and especially the genomic, that is, the genetic makeup of these bacteria. By having this elegant set of information, we are now able to assist water treatment plants, sewage treatment plants, in showing the efficacy, the effectiveness of their steps of water treatment, being able to analyze very precisely what pathogens are present and are being removed, and that the end product, the drinking water, is indeed truly safe. The water prize provides an opportunity to be able to promulgate on a very wide scale the importance of water. I'm honored, totally honored, and a bit humble because this is a global water prize. But it also inspires me because it's an opportunity to have a forum, a pulpit, that I would not have had otherwise to be able to express some of the very strong feelings that I have and the passion that I have for the work that I do. It's an opportunity to point out that this very fundamental need of the human mind and spirit can be influenced in a very positive way. So it's terrific.